hi everyone so this is going to be a super chill video it's going to be a q a so thank you to everyone on instagram that sent me questions in my story so if you're not following me on instagram <laughs> make sure you follow so you can also ask your questions in the future how did you get to where you are today and another person asks how did i become a software engineer so before we begin, I want to give a huge shout out to Privacy. Thank you for sponsoring this video. So Privacy lets you buy things online using virtual cards instead of real ones. So you can protect your identity and bank information on the internet. And as a special little sum sum for my viewers, new customers will automatically get $5 to use on their first purchase. So that's free money they can use to purchase whatever you want online. So go to privacy.com slash MayaBello to sign up now. So if you want the very, very short answer, how I became a software engineer is I studied computer science and then I applied to software engineering roles. That is the basically the simple way of how I became a software engineer. But that way I feel like is not honest to the actual like process and the journey that I took to becoming a software engineer just because uh, I don't know, when I say it just like that, like major in computer science and become a software engineer, I feel like it implies that it's just like a path like this. But my path to becoming a software engineer was like this and then like <laughs> and then like that. But it was very jumbled, it was very confusing, and it was a very tough process for me just because in the beginning I had a very fixed mindset. And you might hear about like fixed mindset versus growth mindset, but in high school and for my life before I went to college, I always just thought either you're smart or you're not. That's really what I thought just because I felt like in school, like yeah, I would study and stuff like that, but it wasn't a type of studying that got me outside my comfort zone at all. Uh, I would study a day or two for a test and then I'll do well. I remember vocabulary tests, who remembers vocabulary tests? But yeah, some days I would forget there's vocabulary tests. My friend and I would study at lunch, get 100% on the test. I did not struggle that much when it came to learning, except in calculus, which is uh, foreshadows some stuff. But yeah, but then when I went to college and that studying during lunch before uh, a, an exam does not work out, I had to learn a whole bunch of things. And it's funny too, because like some people warned me like I remember actually during orientation, the dean spoke to us and said like, the majority of you are straight A students. However, only like 2% of you will end up as straight A students. And I was like, that ain't gonna be me. But then, yeah, I really had to learn how to do college. <laughs> and then I also had to do, I had to learn how to do coding because I was completely new to it. Really understanding and really grasping that how much work I put in is how much work I get out was so so key. I think it was two main parts now that I think about it. The first main part is really just believing in yourself. So really believing that you can do it. So when I was struggling in school, I was calling myself dumb. I was really hard on myself just because I had that fixed mindset and I didn't realize that like it really is going to take me getting uncomfortable, you know, and really me like pushing myself to the limits in order to learn this. But the good thing about you know, a growth mindset in general. And the good thing about coding is I 100% promise you that like, if you put in the work, you can do this. I get DMs from people that might be like, hey, do you know, um, do you know this? Or can you help me with this? And then like later I like, maybe I give them a tip or maybe I don't know the language. So I can't really help them out, but they come back, whether it's a week later or a month later. And they're like, hey, I did it. Like you can definitely do it. You really just gotta like hunker down. I think hunker's a word. And realize how much you want this and put in the work. Yeah, so my journey, I'm gonna do a full video on it and the different parts of my journey one day. But for now, yeah. So I majored in computer science. But there's different ways as well. I have a video on if I was going the self-teaching route, how I would become a software engineer. So I'll definitely have that video. Um, Probably in the description box. Sanjana's notes, love her. She said, what are some of your upcoming future goals? That is such a great question. Uh, not some of my future goals. Well, one thing I wanna do is I wanna be better with like 
managing money i want to be better with investing in stocks investing in general just because i see people and they be like yo invest in real estate blah 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 but i really just do not have a lot of knowledge on that and that's because i haven't digged deep into that so i was watching a youtube video and they said one of the first steps you need to do is see where all your money is going to so that's something that i have been working on so something that i really like too is that i use privacy and with privacy you can basically create these virtual cards that you can use when you're doing like any type of online shopping why i like privacy is that sometimes i wanted to buy things but these websites were looking kind of sketchy and i was like dang I'm, I'm trying to support but i don't want to put my debit card information on these websites so that's where privacy comes in because you get this unique virtual card number that you can use for that purchase and you can also have reoccurring cards as well so for example let's say on your netflix you can have a reoccurring card that you use you can cancel cards whenever you can pause cards you can create one-time use cards like privacy is so dope thank you so much for sponsoring my channel as well i really appreciate that and then yeah i also want to like read a book on investing if you have any good books for beginners please leave them down in the comments below or any apps that you use that would like greatly help me so that's something i want to do is really get into that side of things and then also um future goals so yeah i'm really passionate about introducing tech to people the way people or the way i learned coding People made it very harder than it is. <laughs> like I'm very interested in like, whether it's through YouTube or maybe one day putting out my own course on like Skillshare or something like that. But I really want to focus on like, how can we introduce tech to people? What is the best way to go about this in general? And that's something I wanna focus on. I've been having thoughts of like, because I'm obsessed with TV and stuff, but like, you know, maybe there's a show on Netflix where like you learn how to code or even subconsciously, like uh, some people don't know this about me, but um, I actually learned sign language through watching a TV show. It was switched at birth and they would sign throughout the show. They had people that were deaf on the show and they would sign and I was just super interested in it. So my friend and I, we would meet up in high school and we would practice the different signs and I, it was amazing because it didn't even feel like I was learning and I actually learned so much sign language really quickly and uh, I think that's the best way to learn when you're combining your interests. So I'm wondering how we could do that with TV and code and I think you guys kind of see that in some of my videos too, how I like to incorporate different memes and different gifts in general, but yeah, that's something I'm interested in. How can we teach code? So I guess that's some of my future goals. How do you stay motivated? And that is such a great question, especially when you're trying to learn to code as well, just because you can take a lot of L's and you might want to give up. But something that can help is, uh, I don't know, I, it also depends on how you are as a person. So for me, I'm so into like motivational quotes, motivational speeches and all that stuff. So when I begin my day, I really try to look at what I'm feeding myself. So I make sure I'm watching content that like inspires me or educates me when I first wake up in the morning. I think it was thinking about the bigger picture as well really helped to motivate myself. And it's like, at the end of the day, you can do it, you know? So as long as you just keep going, you'll be fine.